Alrighty, third graders, today we're going to be doing two-step word problems again. We did those a little bit earlier in the year and they were a little hard for us, but we're smarter, we're better than we were at the beginning, so I think they're going to be a lot easier for us now, okay? Our I can statement is, I can solve two-step problems using the four operations. That means we're going to solve two-step word problems that have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So all four operations are going to be in there, okay? So the first thing we have to do with two-step word problems is know the steps, all right? There are steps for solving a two-step word problem, steps that you can follow. So you can do step one, step two, step three, and so forth, and get the answer correct, and it'll make it a lot easier, okay? Step one, read the problem, visualize it. What is it asking you? What is it talking about? Are people collecting apples? Picture the apples. Picture a basket that they're collecting them in. Are people giving away pencils? Picture that, okay? Picture the people they're giving away to. Picture the pencils. Picture the problem. Visualize. Step two. And I'm sorry, I'm going to pause right here for a second. You can pause this video right now and write these steps down somewhere. That'll be helpful for you. Somewhere you can always look at them so you can know how to solve a, a two-step word problem, okay? It'll make it easier for you if, if you have it written down, okay? Step two, what two questions is it asking? What are the two questions that are in the problem? And write the first question down, okay? It's very important for you to solve the problem that you write that first question down. That'll help you separate what is what is being asked and solve what happens first and then solve what happens next, okay? Three, what are the operations that this problem is asking me to do? The first step is asking addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. The second step, which operation is it asking for? That's important to know as well. You don't wanna get confused at what it's asking. Number four, you solve it, solve the problem. Five, check your answer, check your work. A lot of you guys struggle with this. You don't check your work and you make silly mistakes, right? If you don't wanna make silly mistakes, just go back, check your work. See, oh, eight plus eight, that's not 15, that's 16. Little, little things like that, okay? So here's our first problem. The orchard has eight rows of apple trees. There are seven rows with six apple trees and one row with four apple trees. How many apple trees are in the orchard? So, we've got our step one. We're visualizing it. We're understanding what's happening. I'm visualizing rows, okay? Maybe I wanna draw myself a picture. I have eight rows, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm visualizing my rows, and then there are apple trees in those rows. So maybe I wanna draw those as well. In seven of my rows, there are six apple trees. So there's one row with six. Okay, I've got seven rows with six apple trees. And then it says one row has four. So let me draw that. My last row has four apple trees. Okay, I've visualized it. I'm ready to go. Now I have to identify the two questions it's asking. What is my first question? Well, I'm looking at it. I think my first question is how many apple trees are in seven rows? That's the first thing I have to figure out. And then I have to figure out how many is in that one other row with the four apple trees, right? So, Let's do my equation for this. I have seven rows, seven groups of, now because I know it's seven rows of, and it used that word of, I know it's multiplication because what does this sign mean again? Groups of, so I have seven groups of how many? six apple trees. I know that seven times six is 42. If you didn't know that, 
you could look back at your picture and just count all of them, right? You could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, all the way until you got 42. So either way, you're going to get the right answer, okay? So now that I've got what's in my seven rows, what do I have to do next? Well, in a two-step word problem, you always take your answer from step one to start step two. So I'm going to take my answer, move it down here, 42, and remember that that part of how I solve a word problem is I have to figure out what operation I'm going to use. So what operation am I using now? I want to figure out how many apple trees are in the orchard. So I want to know how many are in all. I figured out already how many are in these seven rows right here. But I still have this one row left. So I'm going to add. I'm just going to add that last row. How many trees are in that one row? Four. Or you could just go down here and look. One, two, three, four. So I take my answer. I add that last row in. It has four trees. So I have 42 trees plus four trees equals 46 trees. And I spelled trees wrong, but that's okay. So that's how you solve a two-step word problem. Let's do another one, okay? Okay, here's our next word problem. Dana made six fruit baskets. She put four apples, two pears, and three oranges in each basket. Each, that is a clue word. That's an important word, so I'm gonna underline it just so I remember. They're in each basket. How many pieces of fruit did Dana use in all? Okay, so it's asking me a total asking me a total. That's also a clue word. I want to know that. All right. First step. Visualize it. Visualize this problem. The way I like to visualize, drawing a picture. So I'm going to draw a picture. I have six fruit baskets and I'm putting fruit in each one. So I'm going to draw six groups, six fruit baskets. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I've got my six fruit baskets. She puts four apples, two pears, and three oranges in each basket. All right, I can do that. I'm going to draw four apples in each one. I'm going to use red. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay, I've got four apples in each basket. Next, two pears. For pears, I'm going to use green. Green. Two. So two pears. I'm just going to say a pear is going to be an X. Two in each basket. I don't want to miss any baskets. All right. And three oranges in each basket. For oranges, I think I'm going to use blue. I don't have orange. Okay, three oranges. One, two, three. 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 Okay, I've done all of my fruit in each basket. Now I have to figure out what is that first question it's asking me. I gave you a little bit of time to think. I'm thinking it's asking how many pieces of fruit are in each basket? Just each, not all of them. Not all of them together, how many are in one basket? To do that, what are you doing? What am I doing with what's in my basket? I'm adding, yeah, I'm gonna add up the four apples, the two pears, and the three oranges. So I'm gonna do that. So my first step, add. 4 plus 2 plus 3 equals, well, that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. My answer to my first step is 9. Now to my second step. This is how many is in one basket. 
I need to know how many are in all. So, how many groups do I have? How many baskets? Six. So, I'm going to do six groups of my answer from step one. Six groups of nine pieces of fruit equals. Now, what is six times nine? Six times nine. It starts with a five. Its pair is a four. Fifty-four. Okay, and it's not just 54, it's 54 pieces of fruit. Okay, so guys, with two-step word problems, just take the time, visualize it, draw a picture, and then figure out what do I have to do first. I can't find what's in all of the baskets if I don't know how many is in one basket. So figure out what's in one basket, and then you have six baskets, so six groups of nine, right? All right, you've got this. Go on and do the Think Central activity. I really hope you watched this video before you did it because two-step word problems can be tricky, right? I hope this helped. I love you all. Have a good day.